Good day guys, Ping here. Um, previously we did this exercise. It's um, to place uh, these vertical things onto a, a wall, but it's not perfect because these things become um, curved when uh, we uh, try to adjust, adjust, adjust the mass. So um, today I'm going to show you a slightly better method. Okay, so so first we are going to um, create this family first. Okay, so it will be uh, let's try five points. So you can use different number four, six, or seven. Um, it will be the same, not same but similar. So select all these points, make them adaptive, and uh, create a spline and make this spline a reference line. So now uh, let's just move these points, three points up a little bit. So we can select point one and point five, create another spline, make it reference line. So now we have two reference line and we can select both of them and create a form. So I'll just give it an, a thickness. Okay, so this is, this is it. Now we're going to create a project and and um, come on. And um, we're going to place a wall W A, and maybe I'll just change this to a generic wall. Okay, so go to 3D view, and I'm going to place a a, a mass a mass a model in place mass. So go com go to component model in place, type M, yeah, and okay, and okay. So go. Click on reference and uh, spline through points. So I'm going to just uh, uh, place onto the wrong spot. Um, so I'm going to reference spline through points and I'm going to place some points on this edge. Okay, so one, one reference line. And then I'm going to click on this. So and then copy this and one two, three, and four. So now we have five reference lines, select all of them, create a four. So now we have this mass. And um, we're going to select the these, the, uh, those in the middle. Um, and I'm going to click on the left. So this is a side view. So I'm going to use shift and the arrow key to move the points. And also, if you wanted to create create a organic shape, so you can select some of the points, not all, and so go to the side view again. So use your keyboard. So this is it. Okay. So now we can select this surface and use divided surface. And I'm going to change this grid to four, so we can have four grids. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, five grids, uh, horizontal grid. So because we have five adaptive points for this family, so we need five. And then for the vertical one, so we we can use this one to so change maximum spacing. And for example, if I type 300, so there are 300 uh, um, between them. So maximum 300 between them. And so select this device service again click on this and check the nodes click ok and then we can go to this um, family load this into here into this uh, project into this model in place mass and we can place it onto this mass so start from here one two three four and five so now we have one panel so let's type S S D, so we can see this panel. Okay, so select this panel and click on repeat, and then these are the panels. So currently they are look um, looking okay, quite quite flat, quite straight. So this is because um, our this surface very regular so they are all aligned these points are all aligned but once we 
adjust the points. For, for example, I'm going to adjust this point, move this up. So I'll just unassociate this from the edge and then move this point up. So And then you will start to see. So this panel become curved. So see, because um, those adaptive points of uh, these panels are no longer in one plane. So they become, see, curved. So um, I think what's what's going on here? I'm not sure about this. Um, what, maybe, maybe let me just remove repeater and I'll select all and shift on select one and delete, select the panel again, repeat. Oh, doesn't work. Um, maybe, let me control Z, okay, control Z, so just have one panel. So before I click on repeat, I want to slightly adjust this, these two points, so maybe we can fix this. So select this panel again and click on repeat. Yeah, so it's fixed. So still, so you will see these panels are not vertical, so they're not looking good. Right. So to fix this, um, it's quite easy. So we can, what we can do is we can, um, let me just delete this one for now. And we're going to select this divided surface. And so you will see this, this is a V grid here. So these are the vertical. So if we uncheck, unclick on, uh, un uncheck this one to so re remove all the V grid and then we can use intersects okay so now but before that we need to go to elevation so go to south elevation and create a reference plan so I'm going to just draw one here and also I want to name it I'll call it one and I'll copy this so um, okay I'll type maybe 300 just type, uh, copy multiple of them, uh, too slow, maybe do it this way. Okay, so that's enough, maybe uh, remove this. So now, if I go to 3D view, select this divided surface, click on this one, and you click on this intersect list, and check, so you will see all these reference plans here. So shift, select the first one, shift, select the last one, check, okay. And now we have all these grids vertical, okay, always vertical. So now we can place a family here. So component and one, two, three, four, and five. And then select it, repeat. And now you will see all these panels are perfect, perfectly vertical and flat. Okay, so this is it and also this works when we if, if I move this one so you will see these panels are still still um, here still so of course only only those um, where the panels only created where the uh, reference plans are because there's no reference plan on this side, so it won't create more panels. So if you want to add more, so just go to go back to the elevations. So you can just copy some more here. So for example, copy uh, more here. And if you want to, for example, increase the number. So I want instead of 300, um, I want to change it to 150. So I'll just copy this one to the left 150. So now we have all these um, this many reference plans and then we just need to select this uh, divided surface or this form again go to the list and so select the first one so you will see there's more reference uh, plans here so shift last one check okay and that's it oh looks like we we're missing some here um, um, how do we do it <laughs> so I'm not sure. Oh, probably because see here, so that's only three. Oh, actually, there's only two nodes here. Maybe we need to increase the nodes so it will create more. So let me try. If I move this point to the right, and okay, 
doesn't work. There's something, uh, something's not right. So maybe I'll move this point as well, and also move um, move this point. Okay, so I'll move this point to here, and and okay, there's some more, but um, doesn't work in the middle. So what I will do is I'll just remove repeater, just do it again. So select all, shift, unselect one, delete all of them except this one, and click on repeat again. Okay, so it looks like um, we might still need to adjust the shape here um, a little bit. So for, for example, I'm going to control Z. Okay, so now uh, I'll just adjust this point to increase the depth, maybe. Um, I'm not sure if this will work or not. So, okay, so now let's do it again. Select so this one, repeat. Yeah, okay, so it's fixed. So, um, yeah, so this is it. So, per perfect straight using uh, inter intersects. Um, let me let me check what's that uh, intersects list okay so that's it um, if you have any question please let me know um, next time I will try another method and it's um, not perfect but um, that method uh, we don't need to create any reference plans, so we can we can directly place it onto the face. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.